Okay, I'm Stephen More Mingari from uh, Gobo High School, Kenya. Yeah. Please, please start your presentation. Thank you. So the introduction of this presentation is that it is uh, effective and the quicker method of stocking the beehive using cocoa plant known as Pratostoma paristre. Uh, the stocking of the beehive is the act of encouraging the bees to enter and occupy the hive for the process of honey making. These are popular all over the world for honey and wax making. Honey is a syrupy liquid uh, that honey bee make from the plant nectar. It is loved worldwide for its sweetness. Can be used to sweeten yogurt, beverages, and as an ingredient uh, for many recipes at home. Honey has several health benefits, which include strengthening the immune system that uh, one may resist many diseases. Home remedy for cough may help to suppress in children uh, as well as reducing the cough duration. It is better for brand sugar levels than the regular sugar. However, it should be consumed in moderation. Promotes the wounds healing, probably the healing power is due to its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effect. It also provides a variety of nutrients which are needed in the body, may improve heart health and preventing the heart diseases such as high blood pressure. This is due to antioxidants such as flavonoids and phenolic acids, which are important in neutralizing reactive oxygen that may lead to diabetes and heart disease. The honey is also sold for income honey. Apart from honey, bees are also reared for the purpose of wax. The bee wax is produced by a honey bee. It is used for various purposes. Various methods of stocking the beehive are used all over the world, which include the use of a catcher box and swamp net, among others. These methods are good, but it takes several days, weeks, or even months to have the bees occupy the hive and therefore delaying the honey making process. The use of Pratostoma paristre plant, natively known as Kogogo in Embu County of Kenya, makes the process of stocking the hive faster because it takes a maximum of two to three days. Pratostoma paristre is a perennial herbaceous plant that belongs to the family Ramisiae. It grows to a height of 30 to 80 centimeters. The stems and of eight leaves are hairy, while the flowers are light blue to purple in color. It is propagated through seeds. The plant requires moist and well-drained soil and is very sensitive to drought. In Embu County of Kenya, the plant grows naturally in the field. Pratostoma paristre attracts bees while still in the field due to its sweet scent and nectar, which is used by bees to make honey. Hence, it can be planted in the fields near the apiary so as to provide nectar for the process of honey making. In China, the plant has been used as a humble medicine for liver disease, hypertension, diabetes, and joint pain. Uh, the method of uh, preparing the, uh, the beehive using Pratostoma paristre is as follows. The vegetative part of the herb is cut at flowering stage or during the seed setting. The beehive the stock is thoroughly washed with water and left to sun dry. A U-shaped tunnel is dug underground with the two hands opening on the ground surface. Fire is lit on one open hand of the tunnel uh, by use of uh, by use of firewood or charcoal, while the other hand is left open to channel in the hair that supports burning. The freshly cut Pratostoma paristre is heaped above the fire and burning commences. Uh, so this is the U-shaped tunnel. Uh, on, these, on this other side of the 
tunnel uh, the freshly cut platostoma palustre is placed on this side and uh, forced to burn using charcoal or firewood. Then the, the beehive is placed over the burning platostoma palustre. The other hole of the tunnel is left open to tunnel in air, which supports combustion. So the clean and dried hive is then placed over the burning fresh protostoma paristre with the hollow part above the fire. The smoke then settles on the inner surfaces of the hive to be stopped. The process of the horizontal hash is rubbed on the outer surface of the hive. The hive is then placed on the hapiary for bees to occupy. The smoke from burnt platostoma paristre has sweet smelling scent that attracts bees from very far. Within one hour to two days, many bees will have occupied the hive and the process of honey making commences. In some cases, the bees occupy the hive immediately, even placing it on the hapiary. A growing of Pratostoma paristre should be encouraged in many parts of the world where the ecological zones favor beekeeping or farming. More research should be done on Pratostoma paristre in order to increase its productivity. Thank you. Wow, that was very interesting. Very interesting. We have uh, bees all over the world, and I think people around the world will be very interested in, in hearing about this. So, uh, Stephen, I have a question. Is this something that uh, is common in Kenya, uh, the process uh, uh, you, you, you kind of showed us here? Is this, is this something local that, that uh, locally in, across Kenya is done? So, uh, so it is not a rockery practice everywhere in Kenya, but in Embu County, uh, it is practiced by many bee uh, beekeepers. Yeah. Okay. And, and you said it takes two to three days. What do you mean by two to three days? So it takes a maximum of two to three days for the bees to occupy the hive immediately after preparing the hive. Ah, okay, that's, that's interesting. Okay, so two to three days to occupy the hive, okay. And then the rest process is whatever time they take to the honey, right? So basically what you're saying is this process speeds up the occupying time, right? So the bees occupy the hive immediately after uh, preparing the hive and it takes uh, not, not more than three days for the bees to occupy the hive. Uh, then the process of honey making commences immediately after preparing the hive. Uh, and did you, did you try this out yourself? I mean, did you do this, uh, you know, at your local level? Did you try this? Yeah, we have been used to practicing it and it has worked. Yeah. I mean, personally, you have done it, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, because I run a food company apart from what I do in my startup TV and it would be interesting to know how you know this thing works and uh, if there is a collaboration with our other food uh, suppliers you know it will be great yeah very good thank you very much very interesting 